All right, guys, I know this is late, but I was sick. So here is the Q&A. So this Q&A is mainly for the quarantine to keep us all busy, but also it's a little bit of an early celebration for 30,000 subscribers. So I got almost like 500 responses on the Q&A. A lot of them are duplicates, so I grouped them into categories. We're gonna actually split this up into two sections. This one's gonna be more about personal questions, Sophie questions, and YouTube related questions. When we get into part two, it'll be more about coaster related questions. So let's start off with the personal category. Orange Code asks, will this question be in the Q&A? No, didn't make the cut. Dressy Eye says, what's your least favorite question to be asked in the Q&A? Let's take a look at the next couple questions to find out. El Toro Ryan says, what's your social security number asking for a friend? And the real Kyle K says, what are all the numbers on your credit card? You should probably ask the Nigerian prince I gave all that information to. Tanner Robertson asks, What's your favorite sports team? Does your wife like roller coasters? Are you one to go get the kitty credits at random pizza places? And what's your process for planning out videos? And what do you refill your souvenir cup with? So that's a lot of questions. Let's start with favorite sports team. Uh, that's the Dodgers. Yes, my wife likes roller coasters and you can follow her on Instagram as Iconic Coaster Thrills. I've never gotten a random kitty credit at a pizza place, but I do plan on doing that soon. I like to get either Diet Mr. Pib or Dasani flavored water from the freestyle machine. And as for my videos, I choose a topic from this massive list that I have, and then I do the research, write the script, record the audio, cut the audio, place the clips, place the overlays, place the video credits, put the music on, render, playback, upload, thumbnail, that's pretty much it. Coaster Hour Official, who by the way has a really good YouTube channel, asks, Hobbies outside of coasters, favorite sports team, most anticipated Asian park. So I'm a pretty big sports fan outside of coasters. My favorite teams are the Dodgers and the Eagles. And the park I'd like to visit most is Fuji Q Highland in Japan. Joseph H03 asks, How do you make your beard look so good? That is the wall trimmer. Blackhawks Vision says, how have you made it through the current global situation? And I already worked from home before all this, so I only really left the house to go to Magic Mountain or go to the store. So the only difference is that I'm not going to Magic Mountain anymore, and I have to cancel some of my trips. Plus, the girls are home more often now. CoasterGeek3113 says, Where did you come up with the name Airtime Thrills? My wife actually created the account for me, and I just kept the name because it was very appropriate for the things that I like on coasters. Poison Amelia says, what experience surprised you the most about being a coaster YouTuber? And for me, it's just the amount of people that I run to at any given park who watch my videos. Sher Van Duvuri and Jesse Collings both have a question. How tall are you? I'm six foot one. So we have a lot of questions about Europe and international travel. So we had over 10 questions about that. And I've only been to Canada. I might go to Australia early next year. And it's possible I may go to Europe next summer, but I wouldn't count on it. David's Adventure says, have you been to Canopy Lake Park yet? I have no plans to go there. MCAM says, when are you coming to Six Flags America or Busch Gardens? I have no plans to go back this year, maybe next year. PE Crew says, are you hitting up Valley Fair this year? And I do plan on being there in July. Arkansas Valley Coaster says, when will you go to Michigan's Adventure? Also July. Unwound Stake 17, when are you coming back to Six Flags New England? I have no plans to go back to Six Flags New England this year. Unwound Stake 17 also says, when are you gonna be at Cedar Point this year? I was supposed to go twice this year, and hopefully I still can go in July. Hopefully the July trip doesn't get canceled. So there are five questions here about what my job is. So other than YouTube, I'm a business analyst for an auto insurance company. So basically, I write up specifications for developers, and they build and maintain our portals. I do a lot of other things, but that's my main job description. Ken Quinman says, Have you ever thought about making a Planet Coaster No Limits coaster? I've never played either one. There are several questions on here about how did I become a coaster enthusiast. So I used to be afraid of coasters, and then once I started riding them, I liked them, and I started researching them online, and it all kind of snowballed from there. Coasters West says, You said in the past that you fell out of the coaster scene in the past. Do you see yourself falling out of the coaster community again in the future? It's possible, but I blame the last time on me working at Magic Mountain, and working at the park really didn't make it fun for me anymore. I don't plan on working there again, so I don't think it'll happen. Roller coasters and your name got cut off. You said you took a break from coasters. What got you back into them? So in 2015, Sophie got old enough to ride the coasters at Magic Mountain, so we started going there again. Plus I went to New York City and went back to Great Adventure and Six Flags New England, which kind of got me back into it. And also some Facebook pages started getting me back into some coaster news. So it was really a combination of those three. Aiden Araujo and Tyler Morg4 
asked me about my experience at working at Magic Mountain. So the job was okay. I worked there for eight years. I had a bunch of different jobs within the food service department, but working there made me not want to actually go there for fun. Aiden Araujo also says, what was the saddest coaster closing for you? And I think three of the best coasters that I rode that actually closed were Dragon Challenge, Volcano, and Firehawk. Vortex Luigi Rosalina 55 says, you might not make it to Wonderland because the virus is lasting to August. I'm not too confident that I'll make it to Canada this summer, but we'll see. Coaster Critic says, what was your original passion before you became a coaster enthusiast? I would say sports, my job, and TV shows. There are several questions here about my favorite movie and my favorite TV show. So my favorite movie is The Social Network. My favorite TV show is The Good Wife, and Breaking Bad is a very close second. Nick Grisanti says, what is your favorite Star Wars movie? I haven't seen the new ones. The first trilogy kind of bored me. I did enjoy the second trilogy, so I would say maybe Revenge of the Sith. Single Rider Reek says, What was your strangest amusement park roller coaster based dream? The one I always have is the one where I get to the park right before it closes. And funny enough, I had that dream about King's Dominion, and that's exactly what happened to me at King's Dominion. The Quackens Channel says, Will you get your 500th coaster this year? So before I had to cancel some of my early trips, definitely, now I'm not so sure. Caleb Moore and Capaldo 2 asked me about doing meetups and why I don't do more meetups. Usually when I go to parks, I'm traveling with family, so I'm not by myself. I'm much more likely to meet up with people who come to Magic Mountain, which I've done a bunch of times over the last year. Steam Dragon says, do you prefer hot or cold weather? Definitely hot. Christopher's Coaster Journeys, which by the way has a pretty good up and coming channel. He says, how did you convince your wife to let you do your 2018 cross country trip? I thoroughly enjoyed going back and watching the weekly video recaps. So the 2018 cross country vlogs are my early attempt at vlogging and they're not great. As for my wife, she did come out to New York in the middle of that trip, so I guess you can say I bribed her? HRWYT says, do you like NASCAR? No, I don't. JDHCTP says, have you done any nano coasters? I did WCR as my first. I've just done one and it was also West Coast Racers. Roller Lord says, have you ever used or still use connects? I tried to do one of the coasters once and it didn't really work out, but I've never tried to do a custom model. Lucas Gomez 66 says, do you play video games? I used to play N64 a lot and I do have a Wii, but I haven't played video games in a long time. All right, so we have four questions here about favorite food and favorite food at a park. So for favorite drink, I would go with either iced coffee or Dr. Pepper. For favorite food, you gotta go with a quesadilla at Garduno's in Albuquerque. As for theme park food, I'd probably go with Chop 6 that you find in a bunch of different Six Flags parks. Swiss Coaster Enthusiast says, what's a positive thing that happened in your area because of the coronavirus? So people are out exercising more and they've replaced exercising with work so they still watch the same amount of TV, but it seems like they're getting out more to exercise. LY Entertainment says, do you think growing up with LA traffic makes you accept it easier than outsiders? Maybe compared to people in the countryside, but I don't have to deal with the traffic much because I'm in Valencia and I don't have to leave Valencia very often, so that's nice. Dan's Theme Park says, how many credits? As of April, 2020, 425. Andrew Scanio and Boiler Coasters asked me about my first coaster and what was my most recent. So my first coaster was probably the West Coaster at Santa Monica Pier, and my last credit was West Coast Racers. Josh Pritchard says, what are your coaster milestones? 100, 200, and so on. Not sure about 100, but 200 was Cannibal, 300 was Phantom's Revenge, and 400 was Tremors. Unwound Steak 17 says, how annoyed are you that you can see coasters but cannot ride them? It's getting annoying more every day, and also knowing that it's probably going to be at least another month before I can get over there. Mashu1986 says, how much do you want for that pack of TP? So he's referring to the pack of TP I found at the dollar store a while back. That is not for sale. Coasterfan15 has two questions. Why did you decide to get a camera? Can you make a roller coaster photography tips video? So I got a camera to take quality pictures on Instagram. It's a point and shoot, so I don't have any pro tips. But if you are taking pictures of coasters, I would suggest getting close up pictures and wide angles. Coasterfan15 also says, what phone do you have? It's a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Dr. Hershey PhD says, what do you think of your video sunglasses? I think they've been broken for over six months now, but I did get a lot of good use out of them. They were iView ring cones. All right, so the next section is the Sophie section. 86 Isles fan says, how many tries did it require to get Sophie on Superman Escape from Krypton? I've been trying to get her on it since August, and I finally got her on it in March. Mark Garcia says, will you take Sophie on your trips if she becomes a coaster enthusiast? So she is coming on the July trip, and we'll see what she's comfortable riding. Lennon Clabau says, how old is Sophie? She's seven. 
Swiss Coaster Enthusiast says, when will Sophie ride Goliath? We're holding back on this one because of the G's and the helix. She's not quite ready for it yet. Official Coaster Camp says, why does Sophie have more credits than me? She gets around. Height Check says, what's your favorite credit you rode with your daughter? So she didn't like this coaster much, but it's the only coaster she rode in my top 50, and that's Ghost Rider at Knott's. CoasterFan15 says, is Sophie interested in becoming an enthusiast or does she just like coasters? I think for now she just likes coasters. CoasterFan15 also says, what's it like being a father? It's fun, but you have to watch your mouth because they will repeat what you say. Philadelphia Thrills says, will there be a Sophie Rides Superman vlog? I did not shoot a vlog for that day. Let's move on to the video section. Titanic Cat, Aviation Austin, and No But I'm a Loser all asked me about what inspired me to make a YouTube channel. So my inspiration was Canada Coaster Fan because he would just go on, no production quality, and just talk about coasters and his opinions. And I thought I could kind of do the same thing. And my main goal was to do rankings. But since then, I've kind of diversified more and done more reviews and documentary style videos, more than just rankings. But I do focus a lot on rankings. Philadelphia Coasters asks, what are your tricks for being a successful YouTuber? So I think you need three things, quality, identity, and consistency. Make your videos at the highest quality that you can. Find your identity and what makes your channel stand out from the rest. And consistency, upload at least once a week. The smaller channels I've seen do this have all grown pretty quickly. Gray Hangman 5 says, what are your favorite up and coming coaster channels? So I mentioned quality, identity, and consistency. And when I first saw Theme Park Media and OK Coasters, I know those guys would make it because they did all three. So the smaller channels that currently do all three that I think are really good and they're still pretty small are Parks Pros and Destination Thrills. Those two channels have some of the best editing I've seen. Coaster Dash asks, why I support so many small channels? Why don't more bigger channels support smaller channels? And what am I trying to accomplish by doing so? So the short answer is that I enjoy the content. I can't really speak for anyone else because I don't know how much time they have during the day to watch YouTube. I personally have about an hour, hour 45 minutes a day while I'm in the kitchen watching YouTube. So usually when I'm there, I'll dig through my notifications and see what was just posted. The Coaster Scoop says, how long does it take you to make entire videos, script to thumbnail, and what editing software do you use? So I use Corel for editing and I use PowerPoint for thumbnails. It can take as little as a day or two. My research videos take usually two to five days. My SeaWorld video, I was working on that for a month. But other documentaries like my Fishhook video or my Paramount video, those took about five days. Justice League Battle for Metropolis expert says, what's the video that you've seen with the best editing? So check out OK Coaster's video of coasters that made him hang on for dear life. That's the first video of his that I saw and it really made me feel inferior. Xander Newman says, when can we see a video on ranking restraint types? That's gonna be dropping at the end of April. Croc says, do a pros and cons for the Incredible Hulk coaster. I haven't ridden that in eight years, but when I do get back, I will make a video on it. Andy Dandy and Scott C. Photos both asked me what my personal favorite video I've made was. So my first big major video was why did Six Flags become the discount chain? That came out last May. But I'm also proud of my SeaWorld documentary and my Paramount Parks documentary. Kaden and Kaden Hanify, maybe the same person, asked me what should SeaWorld and Busch Gardens add next? So this is a really good video idea that I've added to my list. Five-year plans are kind of hard to do unless you're really familiar with the park, but it's something to consider. Coaster Craziness says, what do you use to make your thumbnails and how long do they take you? Would you rather never ride a B&M Giga or have to ride a Vacoma SLC after every single ride for the rest of your life? So I do use PowerPoint and the thumbnail is really important for marketing. So I will spend up to like 30 minutes on the thumbnail. As for the other question, I would take the SLC option. Kevin R says, would you consider making a top 10 of best coaster names and or worst coaster names? So I will make that video, but the chain lift did just make a video like that. I Like Crab says, you should do a best and worst models for each manufacturer. That's on the list for sure. Air on Coaster says, you should make a video about defunct parks and why it's important not to pause your membership during this crisis. Save our parks so we don't have another Indiana beach. That's a good point. If you're in a good financial situation, I would suggest continuing to pay for your membership. Jay Gillek says, Six Flags Great America Top 5 or 10. I'll rank them all up after I get back to the park this year. Max Tanner says, Most overrated and underrated coasters. So I'll make a comprehensive list of this down the line where I'm ranking them, but I did just do this video for manufacturers. EarthDog7900 says, How has doing this channel and your Instagram account changed the kind of photos and videos you shoot? So I used to exclusively focus on taking photos, and recently I started taking more video. I regret not taking more video, and I started focusing on this more in 2019. Gumball and Darwin Watterson says, make a video about the 10 most beautiful parks you've been to. 
Another video I'd like to do after my road trip. DDog1125 says, Cedar Point Coasters ranked. Definitely will do this after my next visit. Alex Coasters 8 and Spooky Bob Poe both asked me to rank Six Flags parks from worst to best. And I need to visit La Ronde and Great Escape to complete the Six Flags parks. Other than Six Flags Mexico, which I don't think I'm going to go to. DucksFan11 says, Underrated parks. I don't think Silver Dollar City is praised quite as much as it should be. Raymond Alvarado says, Would you consider a retro video like Top 10 Best Aero Coasters? That video actually exists and I think it's still pretty accurate. Garrett Espy says, what do you think about making a video about the US coasters versus the rest of the world's coasters? It could be an Olympics thing. That's an interesting idea that I will give more thought. Alex Coasters 8 says, rank the RMCs. That video also exists. Daniel Beltron says, can you do a pros and cons video on Volcano the Blast coaster? I wrote this a couple times in 2008 and I don't really remember it that well enough to do a pros and cons video. Gray Hagman 5 says, are you ever considering doing a top five coasters from each manufacturer series? This could be a little redundant for my top 50, but maybe. Parker8133 says, I'd love to hear your B&M hyper ranking. It seems like you've been on all of them. After I ride Candemonium, I will throw that list together. Isab Nenerb says, Would you consider doing a video ranking all of the US states for coasters? Definitely a good idea, maybe after my July trip. He also says, Also, what about ranking your international bucket list parks, coasters, etc.? I did that video for Europe, but I could do one for Asia. Alex MUC says, Top 10 airtime moments you've experienced. That video also exists. Ellis I guess says, What other parks could use a second RMC? That video is definitely on my list for the future. Lil Frankie says, Tips for Magic Mountain. That could be its own video. So that video has been in my head for a long time. What I wanted to do was go around and look at all the wait times for each ride at different parts of the day. But now that the park's closed, I can't do that. So maybe later. Xavier V and World of Amari both asked me about planning out coaster trips. That video also exists. Job One Kenobi says, Do you plan on doing a video on the coronavirus's potential impact on amusement park chains? There's so much in the air and so much speculation. Maybe if this lasts deep into the summer, I'll think about it. Ringmaker says, What raw footage videos do you plan on putting up soon? What have been your favorite collaboration? I have Silverwood, Magic Mountain, probably like 25 other coasters I can post still. I need to go get more when the parks reopen. I don't really have a favorite collaboration. It was cool when Taylor had that parody where he had Defunkland and Exhibition Theme Park make appearances. Jimmy Mayberry 23 says, Favorite type of each coaster? Hyper, Flying, Invert, Woody, Hybrid. This video is definitely on the list. WYWY03 says, Do a top 10 Missouri coaster video. This is the state next on my list for this kind of video, but since I'm revisiting at least two of the parks this summer, I'm going to wait till after that to do the video. CROB asks, How to maximize a day at a park? This video is definitely on the list. Serena Rivera says, Have you ever considered ranking parks by their operations? I don't really pay much attention to parks ops unless they're really good or really bad, but maybe this year I'll keep an eye out on that. Silver Sky Test says, Please roast Larson Loops. I don't hate them, so no. Jackburn74 says, Could you do a video ranking all of your favorite parks? That video also exists. Airtime Mike says, How much joy and satisfaction do you take with Airtime Mike 40 free spins inserts in videos? I actively look for an excuse to include this in all of my videos. Good Morning Coasters says, Why can't you stop stealing coaster idiots? I love watching Ryan squirm. Front Page Coasters says, Could you do a version of your most intriguing European coasters but for Asia? It'll take some research because there's a lot of weird coasters in Asia, but yeah, I can. The Coaster Channel says, What do you think are the best and worst major coasters from each continent? I could do maybe the best, but the worst would be pretty hard to find out. Stefano Carosi says, Will you make a video on rides that need a repaint? After my trips this year, I could keep an eye out for that. So that's it for part one. Stay tuned in a couple days, we'll hit part two. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.